Good evening. Welcome to Complain, or Night Prayer, that office which ends the day. The Lord Almighty, grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who has made heaven and earth. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company and of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, in word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. Turning to a psalm from evening prayer today. Psalm 116. I love the Lord, for he has heard the voice of my supplication. Because he inclined his ear to me on the day that I called to him. The snares of death encompassed me. The pains of hell took hold of me. By grief and sorrow I was held. Then I called upon the name of the Lord. O Lord, I beg you, deliver my soul. Gracious is the Lord and righteous. Our God is full of compassion. The Lord watches over the simple. I was brought very low and he saved me. Turn again to your rest, O my soul, for the Lord has been gracious to you. For you have delivered my soul from death my eyes from tears and my feet from falling. I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living. I believed that I should perish, for I was sorely troubled. And I said in my alarm, everyone is a liar. How shall I repay the Lord for all the benefits that he has given to me? I will lift up the cup of salvation and call upon the name of the Lord. I will fulfil my vows to the Lord in the presence of all his people. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his faithful servants. O Lord, I am your servant, your servant, the child of your handmaid. You have freed me from my bonds. I will offer to you a sacrifice of thanksgiving and call upon the name of the Lord. I will fulfil my vows to the Lord in the presence of all his people, in the courts of the house of the Lord, in the midst of you, O Jerusalem. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever and turning to the New Testament. Jesus said, Come to me, all you that are weary and are carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and ye will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be evermore. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye and hide me under the shadow of your wings. So we turn to the Nunc Dimittis, that great song given by Simeon who recognised the infant Lord as he held him in the arms 
at the temple. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Now, Lord, let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people. A light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Let us pray. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy upon us. Lord, our helper and protector, Save the afflicted among us, have mercy on the lowly, raise up the fallen, appear to the needy, heal the ungodly, restore the wanderers of thy people, feed the hungry, ransom our prisoners, raise up the sick, and comfort the faint-hearted. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. We think of families that face destitution this winter. We pray that they might meet people and services who can aid them in their plight. And where you call us local churches to be those people, we pray that you make us ready and that we might be worthy of your name. For you have redeemed us, Lord God of truth. Now may we serve in holiness and joy. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Please join me in saying the prayer that Jesus gave his disciples when they asked him, Lord, how should we pray? Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come and your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins as we forgive those that sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. On the Collect Visit this place, O Lord, we pray, and drive far from it the snares of the enemy. May your holy angels dwell with us and guard us in peace, and may your blessing always be upon us. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep, for you alone, O Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look to you, O Christ. The Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face to shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. Amen. Sir Compline is concluded. Go in peace.